we start? Yeah, we can start. <laughs> so welcome to Freud's studio. <laughs> so we're gonna. This is about dreams. So we will start with a piece inspired by a dream I had, which has been released in actually my very first album that came out like 2020. Like that. Um, so it's a dream set in my close to my hometown like so I'm from near the Dolomites the mountains and in my dream that I was on these mountains what was very weird is I could see the sea which is not the case usually what well, it's not the case uh, these mountains had holes as if they were made of cheese and there were cows as well and the cows were had some sort of human face and they were saying something I don't quite remember <laughs> so I, I don't remember any narrative of this dream, I just remember this general setting and in that album I, yeah, I recorded a piece that is basically inspired by that, which is what I'm gonna perform now and then we're gonna, we're gonna go to your dreams and, and play them. <laughs> Now we're gonna play the house and see how the house 
sunlight. So this is set in the Dolomites, where I'm from. This, these mountains had holes, as if they were made, made of cheese. And they are like talking cows. And, and you can see the sea from this mountain, which is, just doesn't happen in reality. So basically incorporating all these elements in, in this piece that I released a couple of years ago, three years ago, in my first album, actually. So I was just, I just built the mountain in sort of landscape as well as the cows, so you can hear the cow bells. It was just about to play the sea, because from this place you can see the sea, so let's see how it sounds like.
Thank you. So, was the first piece, and now with my guest, Ari, I'd like to to interpret your your dreams. So the way it works, I you can either tell me on the spot, or you can write on a piece of paper and put in this hat, whichever way you prefer. Um, could start with the. Uh, your dream actually. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, see, I dreamt that I was clearing, clearing out the shed. Is it one? Yeah. Okay. So the dream is, I dreamt that I was clearing out the shed. It was a. Uh, it was full of boxes of old stuff, broken bikes, old toys, and general junk. I. M mold? Moved? My moved, yes, sorry. sorry. I moved a box and there was a massive mother opossum with loads of babies in her back. Uh, she was angry and hissing. I backed off and she sort of morphed into loads of different animals. Wow. An iguana, a ferret, a hedgehog, then eventually uh, just just sort of stopped moving. I went to touch her and she crumbled into the, into dust. Nice. <laughs> so if you wanna look as well, the well, piece. Awesome. <coughs> <coughs> From a few weeks ago, I think. Well, to remember it. Yeah. So, let's play the room first. Imagine it as being a square. Thank you. 
I think R and I are probably slightly different processes, but like for my part, I was thinking first of all to describe what what the the environment looks like, and since it was a room, I was I don't know I was kind of seeing you know this is a sort of I guess granular sort of effect that takes the sound. Sort of, I don't know, take little pieces and play them in reverse. And I was seeing this as being a square, slightly displaced with itself. I mean, still a dream. And and then you know there was the main, the main character was the opossum. So I was imagining 
the bits of hair, like um, what's my deal with my pick? Uh, so like, I don't know. When I was doing that, I was thinking of the hair somehow of the opossum, and then yeah, when it became sort of crazy, I think it was the animals. I don't know if you mm. agree. I always do a lot of different textures to describe all different animals. Yeah, exactly. I I guess, like rough texture or like a smooth texture. Or yeah, like I was thinking like of the... Yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Like the iguana, the fur, yeah, trying to the, animals, the hedgehog. I know they're all <laughs> so we're, yeah, we're, and we were both like trying to give some... Yeah. yeah. Quite opposite to each other. And then, I don't know, I guess maybe we could have made the turning into dust like more at the end. Yeah, I mean, like, I was seeing that as the very long, you know, (laughs) the very long echo Mm -hmm. I left. For me, that was the dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ended too loud. Hmm? I ended too loud. No, not too loud, no. (laughs) Yeah? Yeah, cool, thanks. No, thank you. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Go for your dreams, if you like. You ready? (laughs) Not yet? (laughs) Because I wrote it, when I woke up in the morning. Yeah. Got That's alright. No, no, but, but, but it's perfect. Like, but pointing it to make it like actually make sense. Okay, okay, no, don't worry. Yeah. Well, do any of you guys like to share a dream? A dream? Honestly, I can't remember any enough. Fair. No, it's alright. I don't. I don't think I can remember enough. Oh, but it's not. But like, it, even if it's not narrative, like, yeah, this is the first piece. Sure. Uh, the, the first piece I did was literally four elements are like mountains, holes, the sea and the cows. Yeah. These are what I remember. Mm. So it can also be very vague, yeah. an emotion or... Mm. I remember having a full dream last night, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite quick. Yeah. Well, I I'll see if I can yeah. find it. I feel like I must have written it down at some point. If not, we've got some dreams from, from the past few days of people coming to the exhibition or living there, mm-hmm. so we can also do that. Yeah. Let's have a look. I think I can say I've never had a dream with a pasta in it to refresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like a raccoon thing, isn't it? Or is it? You only really get them in like sort of North America. Yeah. Uh, that's probably why they're I'm kind of quite it. aggressive and they yeah. well they're not, I think if you I've seen lots of videos and being found in places and sort of like, <laughs> Yeah. I just don't think they're like being fussed with like yeah, that's quite really wild right. animal. Yeah. It's in Australia, isn't it? Because they call people possums. Oh yeah, it's a different just they're, they're yeah. slightly different, but the opossum that I was thinking of, like those black and white ones in America that have got like a big long rat tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're quite, yeah. And what's a badger then? And a skunk? Uh, a badger's skunk like a big. Well, I guess. Yeah. Mm. It's big, isn't it? We find yeah. badgers here, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I know someone that feeds their badger, um, well, not their badger, but the badger exactly. around yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So you leave them out sort of cat food and things, I like, really like that. Mm. They like peanut butter sandwiches. Mm. They're big, yeah, they're big though, and like yeah, scary. They seem for ages. You see like badger hop, badger sets, yeah. Um, you know the grounds dug up. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. You can find places to watch them, but you have to be really, really quiet because they they like terrifying to people. So you have to yeah, go yeah. like downwind so they can't smell you. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dreams I remember, I don't know how they could be made into music. I don't know, it could be a challenge. Yeah. Yes. Well, sorry, what did you say? I just said that in the dreams that I can remember, I don't know how they would be made into music. Because they're not mm. like... I mean, the weirdest one is I told everyone Plansy was Asian and he got annoyed at me because it was going to be a secret. Yeah. And that is... That's <laughs> 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 like, We're going to try to do that if you want. That's true. 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 Yeah, I want to see how you interpret that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we can do that. Really we can do that. Typical. Yeah. 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 If you're fine with it. Yeah. Do yeah. you like the concept of secretly Asian? Yeah. 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 That's bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
secretly anything that's not even a thing is quite funny. Secretly something really important. Secretly cool. ginger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared of the image of yours really annoyed at me for telling people. <laughs> Yeah, those sort of dreams where you have a really strong emotional sense yeah. is like horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, really yeah. And I was, I was like, I had this dream, don't be angry at me. <laughs> 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 My God, what the fuck? I told you. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's
you know what? Get yeah, over angry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was like really nice for me. It felt like I got some steam off. Like, oh, that that was all that. coming out of Asian thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Catastic, I guess. <laughs> that was really sick though. Thank you. Yeah. I was trying to I was trying to do a thing at the beginning where I was whispery, but then like suddenly um, saying something out loud, but then yeah. kind of going back, uh, yeah, and yeah. I try and be secretive again. But, nice. I was trying. <laughs> but then I think I got to the angry bit too early, hmm. and then you then you carried on, and then ah, I see. Yeah. How is it for you guys as like yeah. a collaborative process? Like, do you try and communicate while you're? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like. Yeah, I guess that like there's the connection with the dream. So if the dream is that, for instance, where you are, there's the connection with the dream. But we're also trying to listen to each other. So it's yeah. like a triangle. So sometimes okay. I, I react. Maybe there are moments in which maybe I'm more focused into what Harry's doing rather than respecting the full narrative or yeah. the dream itself. But yeah, so I guess well because we haven't really rehearsed this, but we played together before. Yeah, okay. and we both do a lot of like. Improv anyway, so I guess mm. some of it's just naturally this thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a cool way to communicate. Yeah, for sure. Thank yeah. So much. Thank you. <laughs> we have a bond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Right? It's all so good. I think uh, basically. I've stopped because it was getting to the point where there's loads of different sections of this game which <laughs> so it doesn't follow any kind of obvious linear narrative. And I got to the sort of like there's like two more bits that happen after where I've stopped and I feel like it's, it's enough. Like um I so see how much writing you've got. <laughs> yeah, these are the bullet points. Like oh, it's, it's, um Okay, it's a bit of a wild one. Um and I don't know how you would interpret this, but I'm really curious to know. Uh so I work for the FBI. I remember being assigned to a mission that quickly went sour. We were investigating something at a house where we got surrounded by some kind of enemy who opened fire on us. I was hit by a load of small but deadly bullets, but my life was saved by a colleague who super glued the tiny wound shut. Shortly super after this, what, sorry? super glued the little wounds shut. Little wings? Wounds. Ah, oh, wounds, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, shortly after this, the enemy stormed the house and shot my colleague. He put himself over my body after being hit, as if to show that we were both dead. As far as I know, he died on top of me, and I lay there as soon as I could, pretending to be dead too. Bodies were then piled on top, and I could feel the crushing sensation of having other bodies piled on top, one after another. Next, I remember flying in on a helicopter to investigate an elaborate car, unlike anything you would see on a daily basis. <laughs> kind of like a matted silver Batmobile, but smaller and built for the consumer. It was, <laughs> it was glowing ominously from its back right light, Except it wasn't the, the light itself glowing, it was some kind of scientific phenomenon that we could not describe. I went over to take a sample of it with my partner. We for, some, uh, for some reason, we both had to pick up a baggie full of acid tabs as well. And I took mine out of the bag so I could fit the sample in the baggie. As my partner went to investigate the light, I had to convince him not to touch it. Later, I was at the FBI headquarters picking up a weapon. I was with my father who went to get two guns but came back with one gun and a knife. I had to take the knife and I wasn't happy about it so I went to find myself a gun. I remember the sense of pride I had with my black suit on and an FBI badge hanging over my lapel pocket. Uh, I did not have to prove anything or show anyone who I was with this sort of level of authority. Finally, I remember speaking to a girl who worked there. We shared... Oh wait, no, I think that's as far as it goes. Yeah, because after that it just gets like confusing. So it's like three, yeah, three I mean, chapters. So <laughs> it's like three, time. three sort of chapters. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, I don't, so, wait, sorry, sorry. It's sorry. three sort of sections. Yes, yeah, 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 and I don't know how or if they're related. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but maybe it's just... I mean, we can just go from the start. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here so, we go. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that really first one, is, that's probably the most formed part. Yeah, let's do that. So it's about, okay, you're an FBI agent yeah. and yeah, it's about like bodies piling <laughs> above you. Yeah, I got and shot. Feeling, yeah, you we were ambushed, I got shot, I almost yeah, died. Yeah. I had my life saved. saved, then the guy that saved my life died. Yeah. Yeah. And then all his bodies got thrown on top. Okay. Right. <laughs> you want to start this one? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Secret agents. I hope I have a mix. My little box. Alright. 
das uh, a saw blade basically. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Also taped it so that it's a bit so safer. So it's not sharp. Yeah. Still a bit sharp. Mm. That's what is it? Saw blade. All right. Mm. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, very cool. Yeah. Like, because I can get many different sound by bending it. How do you go around like choosing the objects that you can whack into your... How? Yeah, how? Just, just pick up random things. It's not, I mean, it's not random, as in mm -hmm. like, I I know how they sound. Mm -hmm. So like, there's intention, like sometimes I I can see that particular sound, and so I make it. Because mm -hmm. I already know these objects, like I know how they sound. So I've already tested them a few times. What, what's the process of like finding a new object and figuring out how to use that? Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes it's literally, I just see this object and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to collect it and play with it. <laughs> um, yeah, then I might have a jam or, yeah, and see what kind of sound it produces. Um, yeah, it's pretty much that. What, what's the difference between like a good sound and a bad sound to you? I mean, I don't think they are good or bad sounds. Like, yeah, yeah. they are all different, and I I play with them so that I can expect what particular sound it's gonna make, and then depending on the situation, I might be like, oh, I want that, or I want that. Yeah. I suppose it's like having tools, isn't it? You kind of know what. Yeah, I mean, they're literally tools. They're literally tools, yeah. Because <laughs> spanner. Yeah. Spanner, you can get spanner. <laughs> so, yeah. I think like, part of improv is, is also is um, dealing with what comes out, so it doesn't always come out the way you want it. So if it just comes out, you just got to like, deal with it. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely unpredictability yeah. within. within it. Yeah, cool. Nice. That's so we did, did. That, that was just first section. Yeah. 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 That was great. Yeah. Okay, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was great. Uh, yeah, sorry. That, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. I liked the sort of um, James Bond girl. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 That was a reference. Then. I was trying to do like a kind of cop, uh, 70s yeah. cop. Yeah. Tune at the beginning. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, nice. They both worked really well together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. I think that was my favourite one. Nice. Try to use the the bullets. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Also the two of the. Yeah, yeah. And also I was like layering a melody, so basically harmonising with itself, with the looper, and that for me was the bodies one above the other. Cool. Also very melancholic because there's death, of course. Yeah. It was basically one above the other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I know she's layering them, but like that's your reason for it. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Cool. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. With intention as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you both like often do improv over like scripted things. Scripted? No. Or written music. Sorry. Um, music that you like, I don't think we actually perform loads together. But uh, no. or maybe I mean, we actually never like, actually performed. But we yeah. had a couple of couple of jams like a mine and yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I do yeah. a lot of improv, but it's um, but, so a mixture. Yeah. I do a lot of like from scratch. Okay. So there's not really a, a concept. You just you don't even think of a style. You just like you just yeah. Yeah, it's just like mm -hmm. a mixture of musicians together. So whatever comes out. Yeah. And then um, but then sometimes I play in like guitar bands where. What I play is just improvised, but there's like certain sections. Okay. So most of the time it's just like whatever yeah. I want kind of thing. Yeah. What's what's yeah. the draw of that view? What what kind of, what's your experience on it? Um I think I'm just like used to playing that because I'm not very used to like playing written down music. Yeah. Like I I can read music but not more than well. So I'm, yeah. I think I've just been doing it for so long. It's just like the most natural way of playing yeah. for me. So I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just kind of create your own language, and also I've got um, like synesthesia, so I can like see. So when I hear like music, I can like see the textures and things like this. Cool. So I try and like play what I see. Okay. But I'm always trying to obviously get better at yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. quite an abstract concept, concept but that's the mm. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to get closer to what's in my what's in my head. Does that ever get like overwhelming? <laughs> I was like, just thinking to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Things um, and things. Does it ever get? Yeah, I think I can. I think I can listen to music on different levels. So I can listen to it more intently, and then I can pick up more things that uh, yeah. get led back to me. But then the way I, I play, I can keep a kind of distance from it as well. Not concentrate on it. Too. No, no. Yeah. It's because I'm. I think I'm a lot of time. I'm concentrating on what I'm going to play next. Okay. Rather than like almost the music in some kind of way. I yeah. kind of just intuitively know. Like it's like. Um, uh, like the music's like a, a canvas mm. and then I, I kind of know what to like paint on top so I'm like thinking of what to paint on top yeah so it's almost like a back yeah so I'm listening to the music obviously but yeah I kind of just know what to like paint yeah. Yeah. do you have to mislead you with anything else or is it just like music no just music yeah okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what kind of got you into music as a more full time um I don't know. I think it's just like music, just like everybody else, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very lucky. I'd love to have a nice. Thank you. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say like, well, I know, I know. I just said that I had a dream about being in the FBI. I'm not. So <laughs> yeah. don't, don't be alarmed by this. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you ever have you ever taken psychedelics? And uh, how was that uh, young? No, I'm not really. I've never been like a drug. I mean, I'm I'm around a lot of people that take whatever, mm-hmm. obviously, but uh, I think I just got to a point where, uh, yeah, I, I think psychedelic ones are the only ones that interest me, mm-hmm. maybe, but I kind of want to do it in a controlled, because yeah. Yeah. if you haven't taken them before, it's going to be a bit, yeah. Yeah. probably a bit. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious how the experience would be with synesthesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can yeah, answer if you want from, from my perspective. Uh, like, I hope, <laughs> uh, because I, I'm also very mildly synesthetic, so I see uh, colors, yeah. Especially like from scales and chords rather than individual notes. Um, I notice certain drugs definitely put it put me in an even more synesthetic state. And I would say even more than even more than psychedelics I experience with, with ketamine. Mm-hmm. Basically the senses kind of the barriers between the senses kind of dissolve. So sometimes I for instance, I, I had a little, I don't take it often, but like I had a little trip just after, just after having visited Scotland, I, I climbed Ben Nevis and, and on Cat I was seeing... When the, you're on Ben... Hmm? When you're on Ben Nevis? No, not on Ben Nevis. <laughs> I, I just, like, <laughs> you know, I was just, come, I just came back from, yeah, yeah, from, yeah. from, from the, the trip. trip yeah. yeah, and I could see the whole highlands on the table but at the same time like it was as if uh, I don't know how to say it was like sound as well as flavor as well as like it's very hard to describe but I feel like it messes with the senses a lot yeah. mm. so in a way it become everything becomes hyper synesthetic or for instance I was here hearing I was listening to Stravinsky I think it was the right the right of spring and I could actually taste it Wow. Like it was an actual taste. What did it taste like? <laughs> Sorry, that, that was, yeah. that's not meant to sound glib, but I'm sure Like Stravinsky. Strawberries, you say? Strawberries. Yes. Could be strawberries. Amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, psychedelics in general, weed definitely, definitely contribute as well to, like, um, yeah, I guess, mm-hmm. yeah. Making everything be more, even more, more uh, synesthetic. Do you do you prefer to be sober when you're making music, or do you like? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm b- pretty sober in general. Like, yeah. I, for me, it's a rare occasion mm-hmm. to take drugs or mm-hmm. psychedelics. So I, yeah, I don't. I, I'm yeah. When I make music, I'm fully sober. Like when I write or I perform or I jam with people, I'm quite sober. I think it helps like to take the edge off, like to make more relax, or the sugar, like on stage, something. But um, yeah. but I think the more you, the more drunk you you get, especially if you're improvising, the less like clear your head is. Yeah, and you can't yeah. Really, like, be that imaginative. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I think it's yeah. I think it can sort of affect your perception as well, making you less receptive to other people's stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. when you just disappear out of your own. Just talk about alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good part. Uh, like learning your job, really. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I wonder how different it would sound these dreams if we were on that different drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah that would, that's an interesting question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were to say your dream, but then you were on weed, or if you were on her, I wonder how different it would sound. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sometimes if you smoke weed, like stuff that really isn't that funny becomes hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember once I was talking about food and I said lunge instead of lunch and I just thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast, breakfast lunch and dinner. Really stretching. Yeah, for my breakfast lunch. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, one of the best things about psychedelics is that everything becomes funny. Like, and yeah. you don't, like, especially if you're tripping with someone as well, and you develop in jokes about even communicating what they are. Yeah. You just you just know what's funny, and you look at each other, and you, put, you like the funny thing is you both know, but you don't have to say it. It's weird. Like, yeah, 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 I know the few. Yeah, mm. it can be yeah. really awful for the people who are not in that little bubble. Yeah, it's just, yeah. What the hell yes. are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm so terrified of the idea of psychedelics. Oh, really? Yeah, like just the idea that something could change, like what I'm seeing, it's like really scary to me. That was like the main appeal for me, I think. I was just like, this is, this is like one version of reality whatsoever. Like, it doesn't like, I mean, unless you take a lot, it doesn't actually like change what you're saying, it enhances it in a way which is different. So like with okay. mushrooms, for example, you like, the wolves um, breathe in a sort of general way. There's like things, like those plants over there, there's those sort of lavender flowers. They have like a, a breathing, living quality to them, yeah. and these sort of it's like a pulsating movement, and it's quite calming and nice to look at. Um, and then there's always sort of like so like this texture on the floor here. Yeah. There's this weird played like paisley pattern that sort of emerges in the same sort of breathing ebb and flow yeah. on everything that's textured, and um, that's like those are like the base level, and everything becomes sort of super high definition and very yeah. The, uh, vividly coloured as well. Those are like the general sort of um, effects visually, but uh, obviously the more you take, the more you see, and so sometimes the energy starts to like seep out of things yeah. <laughs> if you go yeah. far enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually yeah quite scared of psychedelics in yeah. a way, but I did do mushrooms once and I took two, which is like nothing. But it was really interesting because it made everything. It was almost like someone had gone into my head and turned all the faders up on like the sort of like intensity of like the colours and sounds. Sure. Like, so like everything felt, I mean I was in a really good mood as well, yeah. so everything looked really pretty, mm -hmm. like people's gardens suddenly looked amazing, like all, yes. the, all the music I was listening to was like extra brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And that was quite nice actually, it was like it wore off and it was like everything still felt really nice, but yeah. I don't know, I don't think I'd like to lose touch with reality. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Though, yeah. It takes quite a lot to get to that point. That's the thing. If you take like quite a mild or like general sort of dose, you don't lose touch with reality. It's just the experience of reality has changed. Yeah. The perception yeah. of it is different. And you think uh, about things differently just as you sort of like, yeah, see things more clearly. You also see things, I guess, in a more honest way too. And, <coughs> Yeah, mm. it's interesting. It breaks down all of these like walls of resistance that you normally have in your mind, and it allows you to just go. It's actually quite simple, isn't it? Without <laughs> yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. Like, missing out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's got he's got a dream. Yeah. Have you got a dream, Harry? Oh God. I was trying to think the other day actually. Um. It's kind of the same kind of feeling though. The, the weirdest one I had was I was, uh, Fidel Castro was um, chasing me. Sorry? Fidel, Fidel Castro. Castro, you know Fidel Castro. Oh, Fidel Castro, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was trying to, um, in a workplace where I worked at the time, there was like a, a garden, so it was like a wall. And then um, I was trying to steal the TV and it was attached to this lead, but the lead wouldn't, and uh, come out and I was trying to like yank it and trying to escape from the wall. That's the one of the weird but yeah, obviously it's not <laughs> there's not really much to it, except it's a bit weird. 
Kind of like, well, I don't know, it's the same kind of feeling as the last one, isn't it? Really? Uh, similar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't tell them, but I don't know. Yeah, fine. I'm sure I share my experiences. <laughs> yeah, let's pick up something. Yeah, yeah. I've got to go actually. Should we do a quick one? Can do yours then. No, we do one later. Okay. Sorry, I've got to go to practice. (laughs) (laughs) So your dream, I hope hope all over the world people become happy. Oh, Oh. just a nice serene one. They're all very long. Uh, Your dream, uh, stuck, stuck in a dark room, unable to see anything, and then I am only able to hear scary sounds in your wake up. Should make you turn off all the lights. Turn the lights off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the light. To the mood of the drink. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, yeah.
Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary sounds, I mean, it's just <laughs> playing a little bit of noises. Daily business, yeah.